Welcome to the first part of the dress tutorial. In this first video, I will show how to model the basic shape of the dress, based in Victoria 4 body. You can do the same for any character that you want. First, load Vic4 in the default pose. To better align the base shape of the dress with the Vic body, we need to center Vic in our 3D world. Do this only in the assembler room. Only go to the motion tab, and set all three center axes to zero. Time to add the vertex object to working area. From Kara version 7 you now can model inside the assembler room. Add a primitive cylinder to the work area. For a better shape I will use a definition level of 6. Change your view to director's view. This way you can model in any position without changing the camera position. Now hit the hand icon in the top of the window. You will be back to assembler room, and can position the primitive. Don't do this in the model room. The position of the object depends on the hot point position, so I already centered it before center the object. Now with the object centered, I can back to the model room. The first step is to delete the top and bottom polygons. With a double click in one polygon, you select all the object. This way, you can adjust the size of the object to the body of your character. Use the universal handler to move and stretch your mesh. With everything in place, it's time to begin what we call polygon massage. Select one vertex from the top of the object. Go to the selection menu and hit the loop option. This will highlight all vertex along the one that you selected before. Now you can shape the object according to the Victoria's body. Do the same to all others loops. Don't worry about polygons inside or out the VIX body. Even if you can't see the points or vertex, Kara still can select them. Just hover the mouse over the place and pay attention to the changes in the pointer. A dot means a point, a line means a vertex, and a square a polygon. To better shape the bust, drag a row of vertex in the middle of them. This will help a lot when we begin to refine the mesh. Drag another row just below them. This way we have the breastplate covered by two rows of polygons. Continue the vertex massage until you get the shape that you want. Time to smooth the polygons. 
so we can shape the object to fit Vic's body. After select the whole object, go to subdivision option and turn smooth on. Set the modeling level to as low as possible, like 2. Set the rendering level to 4, so you can have a more smoothed mesh when rendering your final image. With the whole mesh still selected, turn on symmetry so we can model more faster now. What you do in one side will be done in the other. More vertex and point massage to shape the dress. Sometimes you need to zoom in the mesh, so you can right select the vertex or point that you want. When you select all the polygons, you can see this yellow row of vertex. This means that this row is unsmoothed. We need to smooth them to continue to model the loop on the shoulder. Go to the model menu, select the smooth edges option. In the dialog window leave the all option selected, and hit OK. Now it's time to a new tool. Select one of the front edges and hit the dynamic extrusion button, in the top of the window. Change the extrusion mode to the second option too. Now just click and drag the selected edge to add more polygons to the mesh. Do this many times until you end in the shape that you want. When done, select the vertex below the last edge that you have extruded. Use the bridge icon to merge those edges in one. Now the basic shape is almost done. A little more edges massage will be needed to adjust the dress to the VIX body.
Rotate, stretch, and move. Rotate, stretch, and move. Rotate, stretch, and move. Almost 70% in a model is polygon massage. You can select the last row of edges and do extrusion to create a long dress. You can extrude as many times you want to. Just don't add many polygons to the object. Learn that in the modeling world, less is better. Here is the basic shape of our dress. In the next video I will show how to refine the mesh and add some details to the object. And in the final part one we'll talk about UV mapping and posing Vic's body. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. For more visit www.carrierlounge.com.